This video is looking at the basics of area, perimeter and volume of rectangular shapes. Something you'll be using a fair, fair amount of in building. So first off we're going to have a look at perimeter. To help explain perimeter I'm going to use this house plan here. The perimeter, well, quite simply, is the distance around the outside of a shape, a rectangular shape. And you'll be using it a fair bit in building or something like that, say with working at the guttering or the eaves required on a house. OK, so we first off mark on these outsides, you see 8180, the next side is 12180, the side after that, and you keep going around, is 8180, and the final side is 12180. To work at the perimeter, what we would do is we would add all of these measurements together. You do this and the answer you get is 40,720 or roughly just under 41 metres of material you know, whatever it could be, fascia, guttering, anything like that. So that's the perimeter, pretty simple just to add all the outside measurements together. Next we'll get on to the area. The area is a measurement about the amount of space a two dimensional object has. We measure it with length by width. OK, in the floor example here I have a floor which is measures 6 metres by 4 metres. Very simply, to work the area out, you just get 6 and you times it by 4. And you get the answer of 24 square metres. And we'll just check this out. So, what I'm doing right now is I'm separating all little parts of the length and the width into the individual metres and we can count them up. OK. It's been done for the width and now for the length. And there we go. So now we can count these up. 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way through 24 metres squared. And as you'll see, the, the units there are in metres squared. OK, the actual measurement is a metre by a metre that we're talking about for each of these 24 little things. OK, and that's why it's written as a squared. OK, the next thing we're going to look at is volume. OK, volume is basically where we've got our two-dimensional object and we've extended it into a third plane. And so what we're looking at is three different measurements. The measurement we're going to be looking at here, the little box, is going to be 2 metres by 4 metres by 3 metres. And there you go, I've separated it up into all these little boxes here. Now, the way that you'd work out the volume is very, very simple. You just multiply the length, the width and the depth which is 3 times 4 times 2 which will give you the answer of 24 cubic metres OK, and you write that as metres with a little 3 on above it and cubed, there's 3 sides you're dealing with OK, so this is all very very easy a major difference with all these things here you can consider it quite easily things like perimeter, you're just adding up all the things around the outside if you're dealing with area you're just multiplying the length times the width. If you're dealing with volume, you're multiplying the width, length and depth. Okay, so you're going to get, be dealing with that a fair bit with building. Good luck with that.